Hey guys, my name is Zach King from the Final Cut King channel, and I'm honored to be a guest of Jonathan's here on the TLD show, and I'm going to be talking about Final Cut 10. I've been doing Final Cut since version 4, and so walking you through a tutorial for the film effect look. Oh, I've got the download for the footage, so you can follow along if you want, and use the exact same footage I'm doing. So here's the original clip that we're going to be using, and now here's the effect applied. Okay, so let's jump in here and start the tutorial. I'm going to grab my footage here. I'm going to scrub through and just show you. This is uh, part of a film I made called Extreme Hide and Seek. You can check it out on my channel. I've already got the in and out point set just fine, so I'm going to go ahead and throw it in to the storyline. I'm going to throw the layer on top right now, the same clip. So if you hit Q, if you put your playhead in the beginning of the timeline over the clip, We've got the exact same clips on top of one another, and what we're going to do is change the blending mode on the top one. So select it. We're going to come over here to our inspector. If you don't have this up, you can just hit this little I right here, I icon. That brings up your inspector, and we're going to come down to the compositing area. Now we're going to control the blending modes here. Right now it's on normal, but if you bring this drop down menu, we're going to hit overlay. You're going to see it gets bright orange but this is just the beginning of the effect. Let's go to the bottom now and go to their controls for color correction. So we're going to go to the first color correction and we're going to hit this next arrow. This brings up our color area and what we're going to do is adjust these three tabs here. Let's first go to the saturation and bring this all the way down or almost all the way down. So I'm going to bring it all the way down. Depends on your clip. And again, we can still continue to scrub through and just see how it's looking. Now, this right here is a little too dark. You can barely make out the gun and the shadows are blending. So we're going to come back to exposure. And this is our blacks, our midtones, and our whites. Just like in the three-way color corrector you had those wheels. Well, here they are. So let's adjust the blacks. And we're going to bring them up a little bit so we can start seeing the detail here. I'm going to bring up the midtones just a tiny bit, and we're going to bring down the whites just a tad. Let's go ahead and scrub through this clip. Continue to just do that just to keep checking how it's going. Now this film look is similar to the bleach bypass, but not quite the same thing. Let me go ahead and drag the same clip down so you can see exactly what's going on here. If we go over to our filters, down here in the bin we've got the bleach bypass filter. I'm going to just drag that on so you can see what the difference is. It's very similar, but you can see how dark the blacks are, and it really cr just crushes the image for me. So if you scrub through mine, you'll see, okay, maybe you want the blacks darker. We can go back and pull down the exposure for the blacks and match that a little better. But this gives you the ultimate control of all the color. If you want to change any of the tint now, you go to the top and go to this color icon and you can adjust here. So if, say we want to go for kind of the blue cinematic film look, you would drag the blacks up here like this and get more blue in there, like so. So that right there is the film look. Again, my channel is Final Cut King. The link is in the description. I've got more tutorials on my page as well as the videos where these clips are coming from. Feel free to follow along, download the footage for free, again, that's in the description. Special thanks to Jonathan for having me as a guest on the channel, creating this tutorial. Jonathan's doing some awesome stuff, so stay tuned to his work. My name is Zach King, and I'll see you guys later. Take care.